This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. My software tool of life, Notion. Yeah, that is Rome Research. We're gonna be trying out Taskade. That is until I discovered things. I was actually pretty impressed with Obsidian. I also really like Bear, so I don't know. So I've tried my fair share of productivity apps throughout the years, and I still find myself struggling to find the perfect app for me. And I've almost been on the verge of giving up. But then I realized I can code. Why don't I just make my own productivity app? And anyways, how hard can it be? I figure I can spend a couple of days teaching myself iOS dev and Swift, and I can use all that knowledge to build my very own iOS to-do list yeah. All right, I will see you tomorrow. All right, good morning. It's been about two hours since I got to my desk and began procrastinating. So I probably should get to work now. And let's see, yesterday night, I started going through YouTube to find a good iOS tutorial and I found a pretty good series by Swiftful Thinking. And the only thing I know about iOS dev so far is that iOS apps are built in Swift, which is Apple's in-house programming language. And with Swift, you can make apps not just for iPhone, but even for Apple Watch and iPad and Mac and even Apple TV, I think. And I should note that while I am a noob to iOS dev, I am not a noob to coding. I studied computer science in college and I worked as a software engineer and I've kind of dabbled in other mobile frameworks like Flutter and Kotlin, yes. So it should be possible to learn how to make an app in two days, but I also haven't coded in a year. <laughs> So, yeah. Now, while I have gotten back into coding, I know I don't want to spend an entire weekend designing this app's landing page from scratch. So I'll be using Squarespace, which is a lovely sponsor of today's video. As someone who loves design, but sucks at CSS, I love how Squarespace has so many different template options that range from clean and minimal to bright and colorful. And for this digital product, I want to reach as many people as possible. So I'll definitely be making use of Squarespace's blogging tools to better reach my audience and perhaps new users of this app. And once I publish my site, I know I'll have everything I need from detailed analytics to SEO tools to really see how we're doing. So yeah, Squarespace really has it all. And if you haven't tried it yet, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash harshibar to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thank you again, Squarespace, for supporting my channel. Now back to the video. Okay. So we've got a pretty long day ahead of us. So before I start, we should probably make some coffee. All right, so it is two hours later and I actually feel like I've made pretty decent progress if I do say so myself. So I follow the tutorial. Oh, I got an email. And following the tutorial, I implemented some of the UI of the app. So now we can actually see a checklist of the different tasks that we have for the day. And there's actually a button on the top right hand corner where we can add a new task. Of course, none of this UI is actually functional right now, but it's kind of the building blocks for our final app. And I also worked on some of the logic of the app to represent each distinct task as its own separate object, or here in Swift, they're called models. And this type of logic or way of thinking of things in Swift is called MVVM or model view view model. Sounds kind of weird and redundant, but basically the model is all of the data and kind of the brains of the app. And then the view is how it looks. And I think the final thing I need to implement is the view model, 
which is basically a thing that kind of ties together the model and the view, hence view model, such that they can kind of communicate with each other in a smooth and seamless manner. So yeah, that's what I had to work on next, but I am getting pretty hungry, so I think we need to make some lunch. <laughs> All right, so it is the end of the day and I actually am quite surprised with how far I got with the app today. It's, I guess, kind of done. We can add tasks to the to-do list, we can delete them, we can move them around, and we can also mark them as complete. So yeah, you know, I was so concerned about getting back into coding after all these months, but I really outdid myself this time, didn't I? But as of now, I am pooped. I think I'm ready to take a break. Um, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Another day has passed and I don't even know what I did today. I know I watched a lot of YouTube and I spent a long time on the couch stressing about job interviews. But anyways, I did finish pretty much all of the app, at least in terms of the tutorial. And yeah, let me show you what I have so far. Now I love how Swift has this nice aesthetic design basically baked into its design language. And as you can see here, they can be toggled to be complete or incomplete. You can also add new tasks right here, like maybe finish, toggle, add, save, and that shows up right here. Um, you can edit your tasks by rearranging them like so. And you can also delete them. Now what I worked on today were two things. One is data persistence, which means if you leave the app like so, and then come back to it, it remembers what your tasks were and if you say delete all of your tasks instead of showing an empty page here there is a little kind of memo thing that is animated to tell you to add a task to your to-do list so yeah that is the app as it stands today i don't know there are tons of different ways i can go with this uh maybe i'll ask you guys on instagram what i should add and actually implement that but yeah, it has been a long day of procrastination and I think I need to take some rest. So yeah, I'll figure it out tonight and I'll update you tomorrow with the final app. Hello, I am back. To be honest, I haven't worked on this app in a week, but I am back here and I have something to show you. Now I had very ambitious plans for how I wanted to finish up this app, but TBH, I couldn't really do that much because of how little I know, but the one thing that I did figure out is um, how to add a little confetti animation once you complete a task. So let me show you. So now when you click on a task, there is confetti. Confetti. And look at this. I also tried to add filters to your tasks, kind of like this, but it was basically the same problem of just not knowing enough Swift to actually go beyond any of the UI stuff and actually make it work. But I think if I want to continue this, I probably should learn 
the right way, which means not to copying a tutorial, but actually doing a course or learning kind of the fundamentals. So there is a Stanford Swift course that I started that's on YouTube. So I think that's what I'll be doing next, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. I liked being able to build something that I actually have been using, but yeah, it was not a complete failure. And yeah, I'm excited to be making coding videos again, so please let me know what you want to see on my channel. But otherwise, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a big like and subscribe. Follow me on social media if you want to. Thank you again Squarespace for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you in the next one.